Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Now before we get today's lecture started, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides, not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. And nursing interventions. I'm sorry for jumping ahead right now, but guys, the biggest NCLEX and test tip I can give you in this lecture is right here. So guys, grab a pen, write this stuff down. Always what makes the pain better? So guys, veins, we elevate the veins. So PVD and even DVT, you're gonna elevate. And arteries, you always hang. So PAD, put the arteries down. Now I can almost guarantee you this next part is gonna be on your exam. So PVD, guys, we elevate the legs. V is for elevate, all vein problems. Remember, elevating helps to vacuum all that fluid back up to the heart. So elevate. PVD and even DVT. Now PAD, remember, put arteries down. A for hang the leg over the bed. Now the pain should stop and the color should return because oxygen is flowing now down and away. So arteries pump oxygen away, right? And it's always harder to pump oxygen uphill. That's why we hang that leg. Now a little memory trick for your legs. This one's really fun. All right, so you have two legs, right? Like you have two fingers. Now, am I making a V or an A? Cool, I'm making a V. So are my legs up or down? They are up. So PVD and DVT, you guys put the legs up. Now if I turn it over for PAD, where are the legs? Well, they're down, right? So you always put the legs down to help the arteries push oxygen away for A. So guys, just do this finger trick during your test if you're having trouble on those confusing questions. PVD, you elevate, and PAD, you hang the legs. Now your teacher is probably going to be looking at you funny and your classmates are going to think you're weird, but trust me, you're going to get the questions right. Okay, now the causes of vascular disease are anything that damages vessels, like smoking, which scars the lining of the blood vessels, uncontrolled diabetes, where the blood is turned into mud with all that sugar, tearing and stretching those blood vessels apart, and even high cholesterol, over 200. These little cholesterols stick to the vessel walls, making them stiff and hard. And lastly, even years of chronic high blood pressure, called hypertension, over 140, over 90. This adds so much stress and so much pressure, eventually stretching those blood vessels out, causing small tears in the vessels themselves. So to officially diagnose this vascular disorder, or even just to see how bad the disease has progressed, we can use a Doppler ultrasound that gives us an up close and personal look on how narrow those vessels really are. Or a less accurate way of checking is an ABI, artery brachial index, which works only for PAD, that arterial problem. All we're trying to do is compare the blood pressure in the arm versus the leg. If the pressure in the leg is lower, well then something may be blocking that blood flow to the leg, meaning it's possibly PAD. And usually ABI blood pressures are done first like in the ER or urgent care before we do an ultrasound. Usually only done if a clot is expected. All right, now for the famous treatments. We always ask, what's the main patient outcome goal? Well, guys, in this case, we have those very narrow blood vessels, right? So we want to open up those blood vessels like we're opening up a vein in TKO to keep open. So in PVD, we want to keep those veins open helping the veins vacuum more blood back to the heart so we can stop the pulling of blood, right? And in PAD, we wanna push all that oxygen-rich blood away from the heart, down to the toes and extremities. So how do we do this? Well, we prevent the clogging of these vessels with some nifty drugs and surgeries. So think AC for anti-clogging of the arteries. A is for anti-platelets like, thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right guys, see you next time.